we are going to go to uh, uh, Kentucky to uh, David Keener. David, thanks so much for joining us and uh, welcome. It's so early, but uh, it's great to be <laughs> we here are again. excited to, to have you here tonight. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think we've met before, so I'm really keen to. It's great to meet music. you. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Um, I yeah, I'm so looking forward to hearing some of your music. I got a little sneak peek in the um, in the sound check, and really loving what I'm hearing. So, um, welcome tonight. Um, and um, we are doing Red's Room. Um, we are show 260 right here. Um, and we are grateful uh, for those of you online who are joining us tonight. Um, and David, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's, yeah. um, what have um, you been doing? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> right? I've, always, I've always enjoyed music um, growing up, uh, enjoyed getting to sing in a choir and stuff like that. And then around middle school, high school, started writing my own music and and so whenever I went to college uh, here in Kentucky, actually, um, I studied worship arts and I studied music as well um, and really, really wanted to kind of ultimately kind of pursue that as a as a as a career. And so whenever I graduated college, I got married, moved down to Nashville um, and was there for three years. Um, kind of just, you know, I was leading worship at a church at the time, but then also trying to network a little bit, writing music. Um, just continuing to just do what I could. Um, and in that time, beautiful time, uh, Lord blessed me and my wife with uh, a daughter. And then um, shortly, a couple of years later, blessed us with a son. And we were like, okay, we need, we need some help. So we decided to move back to Kentucky because um, my parents live here. Um, so that's where we're at right now. We're back in, in uh, right around the Lexington, Kentucky area. Um, and so currently I'm still... Um, just trying to write music when I can and, and getting still, I still have a lot of college friends that are in the area, so still getting to play around um, and do stuff with them has been really fun and, and just kind of been a nice season of kind of rest, um, big change of pace from Nashville. Um, so, sure. so yeah, mm -hmm. this, these past, uh, we've been here back here for almost a year now, so it's just been a lot of um, just kind of enjoying, you know, I think that's something the Lord's been teaching me is just really trying to just enjoy where I am right now um, and, and, and where he's put me and uh, just allow him to handle everything else, so. Sure, well, we are so grateful that uh, we've got you on tonight and that the right here, right now moment is here with us on Red Street. Um, and looking forward to hearing um, hearing you play. So what's, uh, what's the first song you've got to share with us tonight? Awesome, uh, this first song I'm gonna play uh, is called Bridges and Walls. Um, it's a song that I wrote a few years back. Uh, it recently just came out um, on some music streaming platforms, but the i had had the idea for it um i forget exactly i think i might have been watching like a short film that that uh that a fellow student had been doing back in college but the idea was about um just kind of relationships and and you know as christians how we're called to to reach out not to to close ourselves off and there's a beautiful line um in the film where someone was talking to someone and talking about how you know the difference between people that bridge build bridges and people that build walls is that people that build walls their worlds are so much smaller you know um and just kind of wanting to write a song that kind of spoke a little bit into that um just from the christian perspective a little bit as well of, of us trying to be able to be bit bridge builders and, and reaching out to people um and so i'll go ahead and play it for you uh, it's called bridges and walls very cool david keena right here on red Room. Tell me your story That's a question that nobody asks Won't take time to know you Who you are with your layers peeled back When somebody sees you Have they already put you in a box With all their other assumptions like who you are what you think and who you're not oh it's easier to stay behind our walls oh but staying behind them keeps our world so small we were made to Open up our hearts, reach out our hands Don't let our hate and our fickle ways Tear our worlds apart and divide our lands I 
house that's divided will cave in on itself before long. Foundations of pride can't carry mercy or freedom at all. Can we all lay our stones down? And instead, let's lay bricks as we build this house up. Though it may seem so hard now, but it's never too late to embrace a new love. Oh, our culture is stuck on many ledges. Oh, children of God, let's build some bridges, and we will make. To love, it was meant for us. Open up our hearts, reach out our hands. Don't let our hate and our fickle ways tear our worlds apart and divide our lands. No, we will stand up. Let prejudice fall. Come one or come all. Yes, we will stand. And keep building bridges, not walls. All our hearts are beating, all our blood is red. All nations, let's answer the call. 'Cause if we've been forgiven, then we can forget. So keep building bridges, not walls. Oh, all our hearts are beating, all our blood is red. At war and divided we fall. But if we've been forgiven, then we can forget. So keep building bridges, not walls. We were made to love. It was meant for us. Open up our hearts, reach out our hands. Don't let our hate and our fickle ways tear our worlds apart. Stand up, let prejudice fall. Come one or come all. Yes, we will stand up and keep building bridges, not walls. Mm, I love that, David. That's um, it's got a really great concept to it, doesn't it? Like to instead of focusing on the things that separate us, let's focus on the things that unify us. Yeah, that's really cool. I was just having a quick look through your bio again, and、um, it says one of your desires as a musician、um, is to write songs that not only tell stories but can also impact people to the point. Sorry, point people to the author of the greatest story.、Hmm. Um, and I, I think that's really cool.、Um, and that song again, just yeah, articulates that so well. Like, just you know, we are all created in the image of God, and、um, yeah, yeah let's, let's keep building those bridges rather than the walls.、Hmm. Thank you for that.、Um, so, tell us a little bit about.、Um, so, you said it's a bit of a time of rest at the moment. So,、yeah. what what kind of things? Are you doing at the moment in terms of music?、Um, yeah. So in terms of music, really not、um, not too much. I mean, in comparison to being back in Nashville and you know trying、um, to to do more stuff,、um, it's been pretty sweet. I think it's been so interesting because I'm back.、Um, I'm in the same town that I went to college in. It's where my parents live, and I have a lot of friends that went to college、um, with me that ended up just living around the area. So I actually have. A lot more resources, music-wise, in terms of people that I get to play with, more than I did in Nashville,、um, and so it's been it's been a really sweet time of just trying to really、uh, just enjoy music for the sake of music. You know,、um, I think being in Nashville as awesome as it was and, and as cool as it was, like the experience is getting to meet new people. It's definitely a very competitive environment and atmosphere.、Um, Which is which makes sense,、um, but so whenever you feel like you're not able to devote all of your time to trying to to get ahead, quote unquote, in music, then you can feel、uh, just really stuck or like you're falling behind or that kind of thing. And 
and so it's been a really nice kind of I think I think really the Lord um, uh, just wanted to remind me about just finding the love for music for the sake of music for the sake of you know of of sharing it appointing people to him and not in necessarily music for the sake of uh, trying to do the best I can to be able to put myself in a better situation kind of thing. Um, so yeah, right now it's been, it's cool. I just actually last week, I just recorded a project, just a, a live song, a worship song that I'd written, had a bunch of my friends. We did it at a friend's church and, um, and it went really well and it wasn't anything intense or big where, you know, we're like paying people or stuff. It was just, you know, I have, I have a lot of really talented friends that wanted to help me out with something. So I think little things like that have been a real blessing, um, to enjoy in this season um of life so musically i've been mostly just writing i think a little bit um right now and haven't been putting as much stuff out but yeah that's cool and, and super exciting to hear that um you've, you've got um that opportunity still to be able to record some of the songs mm -hmm. um because i know that last one i would love to listen to again and again it's, it's such a great great rhythm great great message to it so i'm glad to hear that even though it's a period of rest like you're still um able to just jam with your friends and um mm -hmm. and, and put some more music out there that's very cool very cool um so um have you got another song that you'd like to share with us tonight yeah absolutely um and it's cool that you were kind of mentioning about the story thing um yeah like i really one thing I really enjoy country music a lot, um, and a lot of the like the older '90s, '80s kind of country music. Uh, I just love the storytelling aspect of it as well, um, and so that's definitely something I feel like that has influenced my um, style of writing as well. Um, so this next song I'm gonna play um, is also is um kind of was inspired by a story as well. Um, so I really enjoy the Chronicles of Narnia series um, and just the the beautiful kind of allegory that's in there that C.S. Lewis paints about. Um, our relationship with the Lord and, and stuff like that. And so uh, this next song is called Eustace, um, and it's not necessarily, so in in, um, in the book, The Voyage of the Don Treader, there's a character named Eustace who um, is a very spoiled child, and, and he kind of goes through this greedy transformation, turns into a dragon and all this stuff. And then um, and then Aslan, who, who represents the Lord, is able to pull off those, um, like help him shed his skin and, and bring him back uh, and, and save him essentially. Um, and I remember uh, a few years ago, my pastor had kind of preached a sermon on Easter kind of centered around that, that idea of um, just uh, through the resurrection of Jesus, the saving power of, of the blood and, and kind of the transformation that happens. And I was really thinking about what a beautiful kind of metaphor that story of Eustace is of all of us um, kind of going through life and, and ending up taking on so much of the world and, and, and putting that on. And then in those moments where we really finally realize what we really kind of are, we can't actually shake that off by ourselves. We do need, we do need the Lord's help. Um, and so I kind of wanted to write this song that kind of just spoke to the beauty of that kind of freedom that can be found um, in, in Jesus and, and uh, his just saving and transforming power. Um, so this song is called Eustace. Great. David Keener with his song Eustace right here on show number 260 on Red's Room. My skin and bones are covered up. I see my eyes, but I don't recognize what lies before is no disguise it's the real me and I'm unclean I'm unclean I'm unclean can't remove the dead skin of my sin what's on the outside reflects what is within can't shake it loose can't tear it off the 
scales are way too tough. Rescue me. I'm unclean. Rescue. Great lion, great healer, would you tell the skin away? My Jesus, my Savior, would you bear my sin again? Cause I have tried, I've tried to do it on my own. But you died, Lord, you died, cause I couldn't do it on my own. And you say to me, brace yourself, this love may sting, but it's how we begin. And from death to life, you're raising me up Oh, air fills my lungs And I can breathe I'm made clean You set me free Oh, I'm made clean Beautiful. Thank you, David. That's just such a beautiful song um, that we have, in fact, been made clean, right? Um, one of my favorite verses is like Acts 10, 15, where it says, do not call anything unclean that I have called clean. Mm. Um, and I just love that reminder that, you know, um, one of your lyrics is, you know, love may sting, but it's how we begin. Mm. You know, that, that process of... Um, we were talking about the refiner's fire and, and, yeah. and that removal of um, everything that stops us from knowing who, who we are um, mm -hmm. and how much we're loved. And I think, I think your song kind of captures that, you know, that, that love, that tearing of all those things that stop us from seeing who we are. That is a painful thing, right? Absolutely. It's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable mm -hmm. space to sit. Um, but it is love and, and love... Um, as you so often turn around, uh, love wins, um, and we are we are made clean, and you know there is that absolute statement of do not call anything unclean, but I've made clean, and I just mm -hmm. I just love love that song. It's just a beautiful and gentle reminder of of that process. Um, and, and just walking us through, you know, sometimes we just feel like we are, we are just tarnished in all of this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, the Holy Spirit just calms and gently removes away all the things that um, just stop us from being the diamond that we are, you know, like just yeah. that, that precious child of God. Um, I just love it. I just love your song. I just love your style. Thank you for, for sharing your heart with us as well tonight. Um, do you have another song for us yeah. that you want to share? Sure, yeah. Sure. 
cool. Well, let's uh, let's move into that then. Great. Yeah, I'm loving um, just the the lull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this next song um, is one that I wrote for my wife, um, or really about my wife, um, pretty recently. Um, it's been really interesting, kind of seeing. So you know, being in the stage of life where um, we've been married for for four years now, and we have two kids, um, and I remember in college when we were dating and stuff, I would write songs for her, um, and they were always um, they're like these sweet you know love songs that, you know about I don't know you're in love and you're just like yes I'm gonna do all these things and I'm gonna treat you so well and all this stuff and it's beautiful but one thing that's been so interesting about just being married and 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 and, and being parenting together is is kind of seeing um just how much like work there still is you know um in terms of daily um trying to love her um the right way trying to love her the way that the lord loves me um and so that's what kind of i wrote this song about um is a uh, kind of me kind of sitting thinking about just times that, you know, I've fallen short um, and then kind of asking the Lord to continue to, to help me. So it was really interesting because I think in general, you think about love songs and they're, at least for me, uh, previously, I, I think about love songs as, you know, trying to make yourself look as good as possible, you know, um, and, and kind of moving into the stage of life where it's like, no, I mean, I think real love songs now for me are just really trying to be honest and open and, and, you know, um, the cont furthering that promise of, of being better um so this one is called uh love right so may you find yourself again on the other side of my frustration and need to be right Sometimes it's all I see and I can't recognize my wrongs And I'm always too late when I come to apologize I still get it wrong even after all this time And in the silence, it's when I realize I've fallen short Love is patient, love is kind, it makes no boast, it's not trying to win the fight. Love bears all things, every time, keeps on giving in the midst of the strife. No love never fails to do it right. time that I've heard that passage, but it takes more than words to put it into practice. And when I feel the tension start arising, I often forget, so Lord, please remind me. Love is patient, love is kind, it makes no boast, it's not trying to win the fight. Love bears all Focused on trying to win the fight And I can't bear it so many times Won't let my heart let go of the strife Oh, I often fail to do it right Keeps 
David Keener right here on Red's Room Show number 260. David, that song is so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Demetria, who is uh, listening on Facebook as well, is uh, just sharing about how much uh, she loved that song. Um, and also had a question about where she can find you, um, find your music to listen to. Yeah. Um, so I am on, on pretty much all music streaming platforms. I recently had a a few singles that came out a few months ago. Um, so just David Keener, D-A-V-I-D-K-E-E-N-E-R, anywhere you listen to music. And then in terms of social media, I'm on Facebook and Instagram at David Keener Music. Um, and then also you can find me on YouTube. I have a couple videos up. Uh, I think you can just search up David Keener Music there as well um, and you should be able to find me. Fantastic. So David Keener, D-A-V-I-D-K-E-E-N-E-R. Um, so make sure you check it out because, uh, yeah, some beautiful music that you're writing there, David. Thank you so much for, for sharing and joining us tonight and sharing that with us. I love, I, I do love that line, love never fails to do it right. So Thank you. Really cool reminder. Um, have you got uh, one more that you can share with us tonight? I, I could. I could. I know I said to do three, but I can, I can do one more. Um, let's uh, let's wing it and do one more. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, cool. So this one, um, I was thinking about this actually earlier tonight. Yeah. So this is the most recent song I've written, um, and I just wrote it in in the fall. Um, and it's one of uh, it's interesting, kind of looking back on my the songs that I've written. I can kind of see different stages of where I was in life. Um, and so this song, I think, was really the first really honest. Um, and a real song that I wrote about the current stage of life that I'm in, which is um, parenting and, and, you know, um, but also kind of in a stage of life where I feel like I'm really truly having to trust God um, for the first time. I'm, I, I've talked to a lot of friends uh, post-college just about how I'm like, is, is it just me or does life feel so much more real and harder you know the second we we went to a private christian college so it was definitely it was a great experience but all of a sudden you kind of leave and then you, like faith is for real you know um and um and so so the interesting thing had been we had my wife and i like i was saying we had moved down to nashville um and i had all these dreams about at least i'm gonna try and we're gonna see where this music thing goes um and then we uh had a baby and so all of a sudden that kind of shifts a lot of different things um, and I feel like over the past couple of years, um, I've been, there've been times where I've been wrestling with the Lord about just what's the plan. I mean, I thought I had a plan, but that's not really the plan. And now I'm trying to know what your plan is, but I don't know if I want to do your plan and all this kind of stuff. Um, and, um, so I wrote this song kind of just in that feeling of that kind of tug of war of trying to surrender. Um, and the interesting thing kind of revelation that came to me was the fact that I'm spending so much time or I, w I was spending so much time so concerned about what could have been or what I thought should have been in terms of life that I was missing what was you know um, right in front of me which is my two beautiful children my wife and just life you know and being in the moment so uh, yeah I wrote this song um, called that should be me David Keener right here on Red Room. Late night drives down at 65 Just me and the road on a busy night No plans, just a man in love with the feeling Of feeling life's enough Takes a while before I realize I'm not that man, I'm the one driving by This life don't leave me much time anymore For late night drives, I gotta get home Cause they're waiting for me But I still can't help but think That should be me Twenty shows in about forty days. Music really sets a relentless pace. But the sound of the crowd singing it out 
Reminds you why you love it in the first place It's times like these I almost forget I'm not on the stage, I'm on the internet Sitting in the dark with a restless heart If I had a chance to do it, that life would still be hard Cause they'd be waiting for me But I still can't help but dream That should be me should be me yeah. Early mornings and lengthy days Two little ones that have a lot to say A gracious wife with the warmest eyes And a husband and a father I don't recognize Cause he's not just happy, he's at peace with life He's got more joy and love to give than I Cause I've been holding on to what could have been and should have been And the beauty before my eyes, I've just been missing it But it's still waiting for me They're still waiting for me And that should be me That should be me Very, very cool. Thank you so much, um, David, so much. for sharing with us tonight. Really, um, for having me. really appreciate it. I was just checking Facebook. There's still uh, some people commenting on how much they've enjoyed your music. So. Thank you again for wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and being real. And, um, you know, in your bio, you talked about kind of just um, having things stripped back and just rather than just going with all the big production of Nashville and everything like that, just kind of being real and being authentic with the music that you do. Um, and I, I've just really uh, enjoyed that this evening. So thank you for thank you for being real with this. Thank you for sharing your heart and your music. Really thank you so much it. for having me. It's been a blessing. Absolutely. Absolutely.